We begin tonight with fading signs of hope from underneath the rubble of the collapsed Tuzon supermarket in Pampanga. Authorities today announced that they were shifting from rescue operations to clearing operations. This after rescue teams failed to find any more signs of life early this morning. News 5's Dindo Flora with the story. Rescuers immediately rushed out of the collapsed Tucson supermarket in Pampanga after they felt the ground shake at around 2 a.m. on Wednesday. The aftershock lasted 10 seconds with a magnitude of 4.5 and prompted rescuers to temporarily halt search and rescue operations. But by 6 in the morning on Wednesday, rescue workers said they could no longer find any signs of life underneath the rubble. Nag-negative uh, po yung response po ng life detector and just to confirm po, pinalakakan, pinaikutan po nila sa K9, ang na-detect so far ng K9 po is yung naputol na paa, yung other po, at yung yun nga po, yung Bay 1 and 2, napasok na po nila yon hanggang ilalim, negative po na patay at buhay din po, wala din po. Authorities say all 92 employees of the Chuson supermarket, including the two who died and nine who were rescued, have all been accounted for. However, there is no firm accounting yet of the supermarket customers who may have been trapped in the building. Rescuers have yet to inspect the innermost portions of the collapsed building. Despite this, the rescue operations shifted to clearing operations, with heavy equipment stepping in to clear the rubble. Nakikita niyo po ngayon is a initial clearing operation na po ito doon sa mga kinlir na po na area ng uh, rescuer po natin. Buo po yan aalisin hanggang makakating po tayo doon sa ground. Still, workers are keeping their fingers crossed in hopes of finding someone still alive. The rescue and clearing operations were done with the help of personnel and equipment from Meralco and Felix Mining. President Duterte has also suspended business, op business operations of all the chosen branches. One branch in Florida Blanca sustained cracks on its walls. The Porak City government is now investigating if there are any irregularities in the permits given to the club's building. Mm, nangyari kasi, nung uh, ginagawa yan, yung uh, dating uh, municipal engineer, wala na po dito eh, nag-retard uh, na. Kaya uh, hindi namin alam kung ano pa yung, uh, kaya ni, ni, inaalukay namin yung mga dokumento nila. Authorities say the clearing operations may last for three more days. For News 5, Lindo Flora, we are One News.